Hello, everyone. I'm Matt Garrett. I'm the founder and CEO of TGG Accounting. And today we are going to talk about the hot topic of recession. And most importantly, we all know we should cut costs during a recession. But is there anything we can do beyond cutting costs to be more proactive during a recession that can drive profitability, safety, and grow the business? Before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button. And if you're on YouTube, click on the alert notification so you can be notified when we post new videos. Look, during a recession, things can be pretty tricky. And our first instinct as sales start to drop, as profits start to drop, could be to just cut costs. If you think about what a lot of the Fortune 500 are doing, Google's announcing layoffs, Meta, Facebook is announcing layoffs, Walmart announcing layoffs. You've got all these major entities, major companies announcing layoffs, technology companies, Tesla announcing them. All of these people saying we're going to lay people off. So they're all just like you and I. They're immediately going to the cost cutting. Some of that stuff is important because it's very important not to be wasteful. And according to Google, at least, and Sundar Pinchai, he's saying that, oh, no, we actually got too uh, fat, right? Got a little bit of uh, a little bit lazy almost. Well, at your business, you might be able to cut some of that. But I want to give you some ideas, a couple of ideas here on how you can be proactive during a recession and actually grow and take business from your competitors during a recession. Because I feel like this is a great time to be more aggressive, not more passive. How do we do that? First and foremost, automate, automate, automate. How do you find ways to automate what you're doing, either through enhanced technology, robotics, AI, increased technology spend on communication? How do you get more efficient and more effective so you can do more work with fewer people? Instead of having to just cut people, how about investing in some technology and building up that efficiency so that you're really driving towards increased profitability? Second, cut costs but not costs, cut prices in the short run. Go in and start to use a strong balance sheet and your cash flow to start to undercut some of your competitors in exchange for longer term contracts. Look for ways that you can go in and win more business by being more flexible, adding terms. Hey, let people pay in 120 days. Let them pay longer. Let them extend as long as you're getting paid for it and increasing some sort of price or fee or something that you get on the end of it Maybe they're more willing to work with you than your competitors who are now struggling to make payroll. Use your balance sheet wisely. The third thing to do is this is the time to upgrade talent. Look, the unemployment rate today is still in that three and a half percent range, but it's going up and it's going to continue up to go up as you see more and more layoffs. This is a great time for you to increase accountability throughout your organization. Watch your C players walk out the door, bring in the A players and pay them even more money to be more effective and more efficient than those C players that they replaced. So again, think about how you can be proactive, how you can be aggressive, how you can grow your business in a recession. It's easy to think about cutting costs, but challenge yourself to think about proactively how do you grow your business in a recession.